from Charles Cross. Okay. Natasha Curry is here this morning. Good morning. Hi, Natasha. How are uh, you? Uh, I'm good. And, and you are you are good. Oh, well, I'm doing great. I'm Kurt Cobain, meow, baby. Grunge galore. I miss that guy. Yeah, did you? Okay, I'm going to ask you about that. Mm-hmm. Natasha, uh, for those of you who don't know who Natasha Curry is, probably because she's at home being a stay-at-home mom now. <laughs> she's a media... I'm getting sleep for yeah. trying. Yeah, right. She's a media monster. Natasha Curry spent the past five-plus years living in Atlanta and broadcasting all over the world on CNN and HLN, which is the network formerly known as Prince. Oh, no, headline <laughs> news. <laughs> but uh, home was calling, so now the former Miss Washington and Como TV anchor is back in her hometown of Seattle, and she is, I believe, having a baby before the end of this interview. <laughs> Very pregnant. Joe's got a bunch of boiling water. We're fine. In case something happens. He is a sterile. He's the most sterile person you ever meet. Yes. Too. He's the midwife. <laughs> Nothing stops him from As his midwife duty. On. Back away, my friend. Um, no background music, though, he insists on. Uh, so, oh, focus. All right. So you are due like within how? Yeah, July, late July. Late July. Wow, looking, I'm six months along. Right, you look beautiful. Pop this baby. Well, thank you very I, much. I feel like Job of the Hut, but at least I'm not. I'm drooling. sure, but I I happen to know several women of your generation pregnant now, including my daughter-in-law, Aww. and it brings back memory. It's such a beautiful time. Uh, do you? You think so? Well, really? What's beautiful? Well, no, he's not kidding. Because he's been saying this for no, no, no. Let me really? finish the sentence. Yeah. Okay. To be the guy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> looking at that and going, oh, how beautiful. How the hell is that ever going to come out? Oh, that's gorgeous. Well, you guys yeah. get off scot-free, but my husband, this is our third child now, and uh, I'm telling him, I'm like, I think I might be like the Octo Mom, but you better just go get fixed now. Go run in a closet or uh, something. Cause I'm kind of, you know, <laughs> it's time getting for ideas that. already. Yeah. Myrtle. I, oh, yes. I am. Look at Grandma had 17 kids, so the other one had five, so... It's in the blood oh, to crank wow. them out. Seventeen? Oh yes. I think they were busy. That may be Lots a record. Of music. I mean, that is. <laughs> <laughs> they put on Hall and Oates and go, man. Yeah. That blue-eyed soul. I don't know if I've ever heard of any more than that. Seventeen. My mom had eight. Yeah. Double Ooh. that and add one. That is That's a bunch She of kids. really had seventeen. She seriously did. Like out of her body. She out didn't go to Africa body. like one of those <laughs> Angelina, Angelina Jolie really. and just pick them out of a catalog. Yeah, that. she had them all herself. And you ask her for advice on it, either your next pregnancy. Or, she's like, Oh, I think it was Mary. No, maybe it was Tom. I don't remember. They all blur together. So mm. Grandma's kind of. Wow. <laughs> now, did she have easy labor? Because maybe you. She hope doesn't that... remember. <laughs> it was a blur. Remember. After I nine. Tried. Oh, she had lots of drugs. <laughs> is what she had. Yeah. Oh wow. Now was was this after? And they just yeah, was, come out, and actually, the next thing you hear them crying. <laughs> was uh, this in, in America? Or, I mean, I'm not yeah, sure. You're from the you're Midwest. From, okay, right, wow. Yeah, big dairy farmers. Was this in America? And, well, no, that's a fair question. <laughs> that's a rude question. It's, it, I didn't. Yeah. I didn't mean it to be rude, but I mean Pedro's family from Argentina. That's. Yeah. Sure. Those are the bigger families are more common in places to, to come up with migrant world. farm workers. You have to just spit them out of your wife. <laughs> no, I that's understand. Me. Oh, that's well, Grandpa me. said he needed help on the farm. Like, why do you have so many kids? So yeah. he's like, why do you think you're <laughs> it's here? help on the farms? You see, he's absolutely right. That all right? So Natasha, uh, you uh, you were doing cable news. I'm not. Yeah. A, I'm not a big fan of cable news. So I asked you off the air, like. What you think of a CNN, and you love CNN. I do. They called me right the second. I'd probably, you know, You'd probably go back there. Yeah, uh, great. And and you were on HLN, which was headline news, and then they decided uh, there wasn't a lot of ratings there. People would watch it for just a short period of time, so they decided to put shows on that and call it HLN. And you were, uh, well, what did you do? You, I had a weekend show. Well, okay. they, they hired me to be Robin Mead. Uh, that's the morning show, uh, Morning Express with Robin Mead, to be her fill-in because she has a lot of time off. She has her whole um, music career and everything mm. else going. So I filled and in for her. And she's kind of like the Nancy Grace of HLN. Yes. Is she controversial? Is she confrontational? Um, she's not your, I mean, she's not your typical, you know, anchor bob, you know, the haircut and whatever, cookie cutter news anchor right. at all. She's herself. And that's what makes HLN HLN is that you're, you, they let you be yourself. You don't have to wear a suit you don't you can wear stripper lashes if you want and thanks to get teased about that is but that what you call them that's what these are <laughs> batting at you wow <laughs> they're I'm, like wings baby <laughs> I, I was gonna put that in part of your intro but i thought that would be rude <laughs> um so and, and and so you get to go on there and fill in for her how hard is it to fill in for an established personality like that did you just or they want you to be yourself too you, they, they, they tell you to be yourself too yeah. which was awesome so that's um, kind of nice great actually. Team. Yeah. They, they really just set you up for success okay. and then they gave me my own weekend show, um, Weekend Express with Natasha Curry. So that was awesome. But you 
left in December of 2013. I did. On good terms, thank goodness. But, and it, it was five years there, and my husband and I were doing this long distance, and let me going back He's to the here. Northwest. That's He's right. here in the Northwest. Now, if I recall correctly, because we've talked to you before, your husband is Todd the firefighter. Yes, hot toddy. Hot toddy. Hot toddy. And, yes, that's, uh, yeah. and so when you moved to... <laughs> Baby number three, honey. <laughs> Better get him fixed. When you moved you to never Atlanta to do to be the CNN I did. hottie, I, hot toddy <laughs> had to watch you, <sighs> had to watch his hottie on the TV. <laughs> and how did you, did you Skype each other? How did you... Well, FaceTime. Uh, well, he, he would just fly back after work. Just firefighters are at work for a couple days, and then they're off a couple days. So Okay, so you could fly great. You could fly hot toddy into Atlanta? Yes, we flew him so in you had for the, conjugal visits. You had the <laughs> <Apparently>. anchor apartment. <laughs> oh, yeah. You had the cool anchor apartment. Probably, did you have a nice place? Because you're making we good bread. We did. Yeah, oh, yeah we, we had a great... We had and you would fly your man and... nonstop to Atlanta. It's four hours. He can read a book. Exactly. And or get some sleep, because he's going to need it when he gets there, right? Because right? firefighters are... daddy duty. Yeah, yeah. They're sometimes on, don't they do crazy schedules, like sometimes on for a month, off for a month, or how does that work? I think on two days, off four days, off you know, on one day, yeah. off But they two, can trade the with people like nurses do to get large blocks of time. Right, and that's okay. where it comes in handy for vacations, and I love so it. So you were bi-coastal. Yeah. And uh, in five years, you had three children. <laughs> we when made the, the third, most of our time together. Right. <laughs> third. When the third one came, mm-hmm. uh, it became, uh, in, you know, on its way. Yeah. Is that when you said, I think I got to step back? I did. I really did. What I was, was working it? 14 to 16 hour days and I, I was enjoying myself and having the time of my life and felt like I was, you know, really reaching the peak of my career. But honestly, when life boils down to it, what's most important is your relationships. It's your family. I thought it was money. <laughs> Screw money. <laughs> All these years. <laughs> my kids are pretty cute. <laughs> so now I'm, I'm wiping noses and you know, raising geniuses. All right. And, and now you're a stay at home uh, mommy. Yes, I am. And I'm working and working firefighter husband right do you plan to go back into broadcasting i do i I love it i'm gonna wait and pop the baby out give myself a year to kind of coast a little bit i think and then hop back in and plant my next move but right now i'm just really doing enjoying just not having to do the hair and makeup and you know getting up at i don't want to pry (laughs) yeah but how much are you worth did you save a lot of money (laughs) (laughs) Thank God it's not a prying question. No, did you I'm save? I'm living like I'm living. I'm pretending I have nothing in the bank and living like I'm poor and trying. Did to you live save simply. your CNN money with this as part? Of, I mean, it sounds I like did. you were. A, I tried to be careful. Sounds and smart. like you were. A I career, have time to spend. But also, it sounds like you're a long-term thinker. You're a, a planner. I am a planner. That's amazing. Yeah, think ahead. Most people go just paycheck to paycheck. Well, and the TV business is so fickle, so you never know. I mean, you may right. have a job one day and maybe not the next. No. So make the most of it. While welcome, you welcome to radio. You should be in radio too. <laughs> do you do you think? When you go back, you want to stay national, or would you accept a good local job? I mean, Jean Anderson, at some point, now I don't know when, but at some point, she's going to step aside. There's I think gonna... she wants to outlast Paul Harvey. Yeah, I, I mean, don't think it, she's going anywhere. <laughs> but Natasha's talking a year plus out. I mean, would you consider if you there was a good anchor position open in Seattle, stay? Do you want to do that? I, honestly, I, I I love national. It's hard to for, to go from local to national and to. To have that many toys to play You'd with at that to level. You'd have to arm wrestle Mary Nam and all those other hard. people they want. Those right. Guys right. Too, right. So you well, want to stay. Yeah, you want to I love it. I give, love give it. Give Amazon a year. They'll have, have a, a TV support. network. Trust me. There, they'll, there'll be national news out of this town That's true. before you, you know it. And there really should be. That was one of the yeah. things I, I just love to bring up. Why don't we have a, a national show coming out of the Northwest? Or, you know, they, or I was saying LA earlier, we, we need Pop Rotsy. We need a lot of things here that, that, that we, we <laughs> don't really have. I'm sure. not, Seattle is coming up. I mean, this is Wait, a, Did anybody do a story about your baby bump when it first happened? Ooh. We, we talked about it on air a little bit, but no. No. Don't right. you want to be in a magazine? I, I, I need this belly button on. Be at the OBGYN. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Oh. Awesome. Give me a look. Just one look. She has her fans. You go on YouTube and you'll see plenty of, of Natasha. Of, Very of, nice, oh, polite boy. fans. Yeah, polite yeah. fans, but evaluating her wardrobe for the day and such. I mean, you're when you're on a national level like that, people are yeah. people are watching your every move. So, uh, Natasha Curry, CNN. HLN, Como TV. Weren't you on another TV station, too? Oh, goodness. Um, Cairo, you were on Cairo even for a little I while. I was, yeah. I did yeah. Cairo freelance report for, for a little bit. How did you get started in broadcasting? What was, uh, like, how old were you? And did you intern? Did you go to, like, a, a college class? Mm-hmm. How, how do you, like, for anyone getting started now, I don't know what the career path is. 
I'm, I'm told it's it's getting a great internship going, you know, getting your degree in broadcast journalism. I didn't even know that. I was I went to PLU with full intentions on becoming a dentist and going to the UW. My dad's a dentist, but okay. I, I just got the, got the little bug. Did Miss USA and loved just the whole adrenaline rush of scaring the heck out of myself trying to be a girly girl. I don't know. I think it was the heels or I don't yeah. know what. But I um, ended up moving down to L.A. to try to get into TV. And you move. Wait a minute. Yeah. You moved down to L.A. Yeah, I got my degree in biology. With those, with those lashes. Yeah. I don't want well, to mention them again. Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you didn't have the lashes yet. But you that moved it, down did, to L.A. and said, I'm going to go to L.A. and be on TV. Most people would say that that is nuts. of like trying to win the lotto. Right, right. But I decided that, you know, um, somebody down there has to know how to get into TV. I didn't know anybody up here. I have my biology degree. I mean, heck, what did I know? So um, I went down there and networked my butt off. I was in the libraries all the time reading books on television and radio and production mm. and studying acting. That's all I had and found out, uh, I found a hosting class with so Marky Costello. Who gave you a break? You got a, a My first job was in Yuma, Arizona. I moved down there to become so you a, moved a to L.A. Anchor. and they spit you out to Uma, Arizona. Well, I, I ended up meet, marrying the firefighter. I moved to Arizona. Oh, there's a lot of fires there. Y- exactly. Yeah. Yuma? Yeah, whole place ready to go up and smoke. And then you show up. <laughs> he said, I know where yeah. I'm going to be busy. Yeah. Let's go to Uma, Arizona. Wow. Yeah, so I got my first job. I said I would never do uh, television news because it was boring as all get out. But I got my first job two weeks later trying to help a friend get a job. And kind of the rest is history. And wow. Monster. And you've changed your mind because you like CNN, you like uh, news. And you yeah. also, you said you're the opposite of Jenny Hogan in that you don't t- tweet, you don't Facebook, you don't b- bother I, with that. So you're too busy changing diapers and being a mom and, and interacting with real people. Yeah. I yeah. mean, I, I mean. Not I that I, I have a, a horse in this game. <laughs> a little, a little. Really, <laughs> I don't have an opinion that. or anything. No bias at all. <laughs> I, I value my privacy. And, you know, I give as much as I can on air when I'm on air. And, you know, like everybody else, you know, you don't want everybody to know your business. And That's one of the things that's most annoying to me about Facebook. I have this friend, and I I, st- I watch my dear friend people on there because occasionally it's interesting. But I have this friend, and he works out at a club, and every 12 hours, he's checking in from this club. I don't need to mm-hmm. know every time he goes to do his <laughs> treadmill. Right. And But Facebook automates this thing of telling to everyone where you're at. Yeah, yeah. It, it really does. It's, it's just nice to be private. Some and, places yeah. incentivize you to check in at their place, If too. you check in at their place, you're running an ad for them, and they'll give you a deal. Yeah, yeah. They might make you the mayor or something like that. Like, <laughs> well, uh, well, I mean... Become it, the mayor of a fitness Yeah, center. exactly. Right. Or, 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 fitness. or a, what exactly power do you have? Or a bar. Point? You know, if you go to the same bar every day and you check in, eventually you become the mayor of that bar because you're the guy you right. know you're the guy who's always there right. natasha curry todd the firefighter a wonderful wonderful story uh what do you um uh what do you i was curious about one thing what do you like musically musically mm. Mm, pharrell i like a lot of hip-hop actually i know don't, don't spit at me. Okay. Pharrell? Isn't he a comic actor who did no, Anchorman? No, he's that, a genius producer. <laughs> he's that happy kid. Yeah. He is a genius. I got it. Pharrell? Okay. Yeah. I bet yeah. that I've never Remember heard of it. the big hat about, kid from the Oscars? And he's got That's fashion, about right. too. Fashion yeah. sense. Um, is this Pharrell? It might seem crazy what I'm about to say. Oh, I have heard him. He's great. Yeah. 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 A little bit. Sunshine, she's here. Now, Jody says he's a vampire because he looks like he's like 22, but he's like 50. Yeah, he ages well. He's hot. And he's got a model model wife. She's not bad herself. Got to have that. Oh, yeah. It's very Oscar, good stuff. Oscar-nominated okay. song. Didn't that win, reminds but... me of uh, CeeLo in a way, too. Yeah. You like CeeLo, too? He's okay. Okay. Right. Who else? Turn me on to something else good. Oh, goodness. That I, old I, man I would never Kurt find Cobain. out about it. Oh, old man. Tchaikovsky, Sixth Symphony. Well, not that old. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Stray hair, but not that old. Do I look Come like I was... Come from your era, Bob. The greatest hits of you the 1500s, uh, 1600s, and 1700s. Uh, John Philip Sousa. He was a manly <laughs> actor. Lead a band. That's so right. you have a wide-ranging, diverse yeah. musical taste. Hello, Cool J. You like from Tchaikovsky to... For real. Hello, cool to Jay. the fetus Ooh. that hasn't put out a record yet. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> he drops in July. Yeah. Will you? <laughs> that's right. Will you encourage or have you encouraged your children to be musical? And do you play a musical instrument? Um, I play piano and guitar, but I haven't really touched it in years. Uh, but as far as my kids, I would love for them to be musical. But I want them to be whatever they want to be. So whatever their natural. You're not going to. Well, but sometimes, as a parent, I believe mm-hmm. you have to force them to take a lesson. 
Mm -hmm. And then if it sticks, it sticks. And if it doesn't, it's still an experience in their life, right? Yeah. I bust out my guitar every once in a while, let them play it. So when they get okay. old enough, I have a four and two year old. So was when that you, your, is that your talent at the Miss USA? No, they do that in Miss America. And I don't, I don't think I had any talent. Except oh, you know, there's no, there was no talent for you USA? Like, no. okay. And then, uh, <laughs> and I'm very curious about r ch child raising in these days. I'm going to have a grandchild. So uh, for me, yeah. you know, I'm going to be once removed, but I'm going to try not to be over involved. But what age? Should your toddler get its first phone? Phone, like as in, as in a cell phone, <laughs> right? Not yeah. connected to the wall. Yeah. Oh God, gosh, I would say maybe. I'm see. I'm a, I'm a strict mom. I'd say 13 at the earliest. Wow. I know you are terrible. I know. And uh, that's. I mean, put a GPS, you know, on them somewhere that you'll they put don't a, know of. You'll so you put know where a tracking at. tag like they do on the orca whale so yes, you know sir. where he or she is at yes. all times. That's that baby monitor camera, I'm keeping yeah. that forever. They think it's an earring. It's really Does a it, low As a new mom, mm -hmm. these are another new mom question. Does it bother you that marijuana has recreationally been legalized in our area? You know, I, I thought about it for the first time when I came to visit and I heard they were all teasing me at CNN that I was, you know, it, it's legal you're now. Going to back talk to, to that what you're stoner do. state. Yeah, are you like, sure? Woo, me and my kids. Yeah, right. So we were going through Seattle Center and I pushed my kids through a, a cloud of marijuana and I was like, no uh, yeah. way. Yes. I never thought this would be a reality here. So I, I'm actually kind of curious because I know there's a lot of gray areas with the law still, how that's yeah. going to play out. I'm concerned. Uh, we'll be listening. We'll have the pot report on next break for you. <laughs> it is, it is a difficult. Well, it's, I see it like alcohol, that it's going to be an, another thing adults can legally do, like gambling or drinking, that you have to be wary of and figure out how to, you know, properly at the right time tell your kids about yeah. and, and, and protect them from, too. Yeah, definitely so. so all right. Uh, very nice to meet you. You Again, too. it's been a while. Yeah. Uh, you worked with Kent Phillips, and I was on your show you once were... talking about World Vision. Yeah, you guys have done some great work. I really admire that. Thank you. And Kent, uh, I admire him as one of the uh, best broadcasters I've ever Aww. met. He's a sweetie. I love yeah. him. He's, great to work with. He is brilliant. Mm -hmm. Yes, he is. And uh, he's just uh, one of Seattle's greatest broadcasters. So, yeah. All right, as are you. Natasha Curry, thank you very much. We'll watch your career. I can't wait to see... What you do Thank you. Thanks after this on. latest round of baby making. <laughs> I'm going to go the Octomom route. Look out. <laughs> <laughs> Todd the firefighter. <laughs> All right. Uh, Natasha Curry, ladies and gentlemen, she's not plugging anything. <laughs> I was not going to make another Todd joke. Damn. I was just going to say she's not plugging anything. Leave that out there. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> and all the best to you and your family. Thank you. You as well. All right.